Media City is the UK's largest construction project outside the Olympic Village. Based at Salford Quays, Manchester, it's Europe's first purpose built creative and media development. Phase one covers an area equal to 18 football pitches, but equates to only one fifth of the land available for future growth. The £500 million Media City UK project is being developed and managed by Peel Media, a division of Peel Holdings. Media City is a very interesting project. It's um, a, a final piece in the jigsaw of the redevelopment of Salford Quays, which saw uh, some pretty bad times when the docks shut and the loss of jobs. But now, with the redevelopment of Media City, those jobs are coming back. The BBC sparked the original idea for Media City UK with the announcement of their decision to search for a new northern centre, the site that will be home to five of the BBC's departments and around 2,500 staff. Media City UK has achieved the world's first recognised BRIAM approved sustainable community. Achieved under the climate and energy category of BRIAM community, Media City UK achieved the highest environmental saving rating in the world through the use of their tri-generation system. The targets were initially set by the BBC in the agreement for lease and the local council in the planning condition. Uh, we're the first company to, to work uh, with the BRE on this on a test case and we've achieved an excellent status which you know, is the first in the world to do that. The UK government's stringent building regulations, coupled with Peel's ambitious energy commitment, meant it was essential to employ an energy contractor with the experience and depth of knowledge to deliver the energy infrastructure and add value, design, skill and innovation to such a significant scheme. Vital Energy was employed to deliver these ambitions based on their unique 25 years of experience in the delivery of decentralised energy generation and distribution projects. Vital Energy have the design expertise to meet environmental and technical requirements and can also integrate systems into the scheme as a whole. Vital Energy are unique in the UK. We've got a team of people that have been involved in district heating for more than 20 years and we've got client relationships that go back to the mid-80s. We've invested heavily in, uh, in our staff, in specialist equipment, uh, to enable us to provide a full suite of services to our customers. Vital Energy were invited to advise on the detailed design and associated costs. Once Peel's board approved the business case, Vital Energy became responsible for Media City UK's fully integrated energy solution, with responsibility for the complete design, construction, installation and commissioning of the tri-generation system, having previously installed the network of underground pre-insulated pipework needed to distribute the heat and cooling. In the early days of the project, the Buildings were individually served. There wasn't a site-wide infrastructure that was uh, going to take, take care of both the, the existing phase one needs and the future needs of the project. Tri-generation is the simultaneous production of heat, cooling and power using a centralised energy centre. It combines high efficiency, low emission equipment to create maximum total fuel efficiency. Media City's design is future-proofed in, in two ways. We've uh, designed the plant and equipment in, in the energy centre, which initially is delivering the requirements of the first phase to also be capable of expansion to serve the second phase of the development. Uh, additionally, the principle of including a heating and cooling network future-proofs the site in the sense that it's capable in the future of delivering heating and cooling energy through that network from future energy sources, whatever they may be. Extensive design expertise and 3D modelling skills were deployed by Vital Energy's in-house design team to find an appropriate workable solution to the housing of the energy centre within a purpose-built 2000 space car park. The energy centre includes two 9 megawatt gas boilers, a 2 megawatt CHP engine providing heat and power, and a 1.5 megawatt absorption chiller providing cooling to the studios for the first phase of the development. 
the design engineers resourcefully took advantage of the development's waterside setting next to the Manchester Ship Canal by incorporating a novel cooling system hailed as one of the major achievements of the scheme. Designed to extract recyclable canal water used to cool the BBC Studios buildings in the winter months and provide cooling for the absorption chillers and the CHP unit during the summer. Integrating the cooling from CHP with free cooling from the canal provides greater cooling efficiency, helping to lower energy consumption, cost and carbon dioxide emissions on this high-profile development. There are over 2,000 people working on the construction of the Media City UK site at any one time. The biggest challenge on this project from an on-site generation was program. Uh, installing the pipe work at the same time as we were building the buildings. This is a very challenging pro uh, programme. It was managed uh, very professionally. Constant consideration to the working environment and regular coordination with the other service teams on site was crucial. Innovative problem-solving skills and unwavering flexibility was demanded at all times. We've learned an awful lot at Media City in, in two key areas. Firstly, in relation to what it means to work on, on a, a construction project of such scale and complexity and uh, how we need to, uh, to integrate into that construction process. Uh, secondly, on health and safety, uh, Vital Energy set its sights to attain accreditation under the Occupational Health and Safety Standard 18001. Um, and uh, we, we've learned an awful lot more about how we can design out risk in projects and how we should be identifying those uh, ongoing risks and how they should be managed in the operation and maintenance. The installation of the tri-generation system, built into the basement of an 11-storey car park, posed countless structural and engineering issues. The installation of equipment of this size and weight had to be meticulously planned, as did the installation of the flues. Vital Energy faced a, a number of challenges working on this project. Um, the Media City site had been designed with an infrastructure that didn't initially incorporate uh, the concept of uh, tri-generation and a heating and cooling network. So time was one of the, the main critical factors, the integration of the heating and cooling network within a, an infrastructure that was already in progress. And uh, the subsequent implementation of a scheme within, um, let's say, the, the energy centre in the car park, that having already been designed, so that there were a number of issues, uh, logistical and structural, that, uh, that we needed to overcome. Vital Energy had to design a flue to overcome the flue loadings that were imposed on a building not originally designed for this purpose, whilst also allowing for a possible future increase in height as the next phase of work is developed. Vital Energy can be of best help if we're involved at the earliest possible stage. We can work with the client to define the energy strategy and produce the business case, looking at the whole life cycle of the project to ensure that you get its most economic use of the capital uh, through the whole life of the project. And uh, beyond that, uh, we can help because of our broad range of experience to integrate the projects into the whole construction process. Vital Energy delivered this innovative, high-profile scheme, even providing early heat on one month before the completion date and despite starting works nearly three months after the original plan date. We've actually got there and of course today we've turned the system on, which is a you know, superb win as far as we're concerned and as far as Peel are concerned. I believe we've got a successful project.